just call this a hair skeleton or whatever. I'm, I'm going to start. Make sure the kids will start like this. Make sure they start like in fielding position. And Dave is going to roll the ball out. And I'm going to roll the ball down. We're not there. Get out of the corner. And then we work on, you know, when they just keep going around, they put the ball back in the bucket. Then they just keep going back and forth. You know, and, and, and you have, you know, a lot of the kids, they can really kind of get a good workout here. I mean, if you had, you know, 10 kids, it's a lot easier. But what you're teaching is, you don't want the kids to do this, but just, you don't want them to do that, okay? You want them to kind of use their feet, cross over, cross over, cross over, cross over, until they get to the spot. All right, ideally, right, ideally, you want the kids to not, at this age level, I wouldn't have them work on really backhands there. We're backhand the ball because we're older and we're lazy, we're tired of it. You really want to press on the back, get in front of the ball, okay? Get in front of them. Get in front of them. That's where you really want it. Okay, and if I want to quit being lazy, okay, that's what you want, not this, unless they really have to. And then you can switch it to the other side. Go fill out and go to the other side. It's the same thing. You know, we're just going to work hard on making sure we're over there. Bring it down the right way and keep going around and around and around. And as the kids get better and better at it, you can stretch it out further and further. 